I'm Eric Lang, the Vice President of Southern Operations for MKC, and today we're at the Canton Rail Terminal. This rail terminal started construction September 2nd of 2013. We're roughly about 11 months into it, and we're about 75% done with construction. Um, the facility itself is a 1.15 million bushel cement slip form elevator. It's designed to receive 60,000 bushels an hour with three legs at 20,000 bushels an hour each. It's also designed to load out 110 rail car shuttles at 100,000 bushel an hour. But the facility will be highly automated uh, by CASA systems and it will basically make it so that we can utilize our employees to the best of our ability to keep them focused on the function of the facility, not having to go out and manually do labor in the facility. Also on site, we've got two 1 million bushel ground piles that will be reclaimed uh, from time to time back into the grain facility. Uh, we hope to long term be able to load out around 17 to 20 million bushels a year through the facility. This facility will have an automated control aeration system that basically the system controls all the fans on the facility. We'll be able to use that automation system to uh, measure outside temperature and outside humidity as well as internal bin temperature and internal bin humidity to control the moisture and the temperature of the grain. Um, the system will take the outside humidity and outside temperature and equate that back to an equilibrium moisture content of the grain and that way we don't over shrink grain and we can also use that air to add, add moisture back to the grain uh, before shipping if necessary. It also will control and monitor hot spots in the bin and notify us if the grain begins getting hot before we have spoilage or damage. But the facility is basically sits on 166 acres of ground. Uh, there's about uh, 1.75 miles of road on site. Uh, that road leads to a double scale system where we can have inbound traffic and outbound traffic go across separate scales. There are two probes when you come into the facility. The first probe is designed to scale inbound trucks. The second probe is designed as a default. If we miss the grain on the first probe, we can also probe an inbound truck from there. Or if we have outbound trucks, it will probe outbound trucks at the second probe. The scales are automated with an RFID card system that the RFID card will be pre-programmed with the account name that the grain's been de being delivered on. It will preload the ticket at the scale. It will also tell the scale when to weigh the trucks and will also tell the scale on the outbound scale of when to weigh the truck again and print the ticket. At the facility there are three separate receiving pits. Each receiving pit receives grain at about 20,000 bushel an hour. Two of the pits are 12 to 1400 bushel pits so we can hold a complete semi inside the pit. The third pit is designed for in dump trucks or smaller tandem trucks or single axle trucks and is about a 600 bushel pit. All three pits together can hit any bin in the facility or can be loaded directly onto the rail loading system so we can put the grain directly from trucks onto rail cars.